Hi, my name is Marin, and today FM rocks in Lambarsa. Mula, my name is Mark. I love listening to Today FM. Today FM rocks in Makassi. Hey, Bula from Rocky Rocky. I'm Mentor. I love listening to Today FM because they're playing my hit. Today FM rocks. My name is Enrico. I love listening to Today FM. Today FM rocks in Suba. Hi, I'm Asunika and I'm from Lotoka and I love Today FM. Today FM rocks. Bula, I'm Siva. I'm from Bat. I love listening to Today FM. Today FM rocks. Today's hit music on Today FM. And Ravinaka Fiji in this bulletin, post-mortem examination pending for alleged murder victim. New Zealand Foreign Minister to visit Fiji. An increased demand for coffins and burial plots. From the studios of FBC Suva, Edwin Nath. The post-mortem examination for alleged murder victim Jennifer Downs will be conducted today. Police confirm the post-mortem will be conducted after Downs' relatives arrive in Fiji. Her husband, Henry Lusaka John, who is the key suspect, is now in stable condition and will be questioned after he is released from CWM Hospital. The alleged murder happened in a flat along Service Street in Suva on Monday afternoon. The victim and the suspect are Australian nationals and have three children. An investigation into the alleged murder continues. New Zealand Foreign Affairs Minister Winston Peters flies into Fiji today ahead of the Pacific Island Forum, Minister, excuse me, Forum Foreign Ministers meeting tomorrow. Peters says the meeting is an opportunity to consider key regional issues and deepen partnerships in the region ahead of the Pacific Island Forum leaders meeting in Tuvalu next month. He adds the New Zealand government is committed to advancing security, well-being, prosperity and resilience in the Pacific. While in Fiji, Peters is expected to engage with a range of regional counterparts. Peters will be here until Saturday. Local funeral homes are seeing a high number of high demand for coffins, indicating an increase in the number of deaths. Dominion Funeral Director Joshua Chan says they sell up to 500 coffins annually. Chand adds it's alarming to see the number of coffins purchased weekly for both children and adults. But that uh, numbers has increased, so uh, there could be a lot of reasons. Uh, and cities, as you know, there's a rise in and cities, so that could be one of the factors. Climate change. Uh, we have seen that in the hotter months, there's a lot of deaths, mm -hmm. because that leads to a lot of heart, heart attacks and diseases like that. Request for burial plots is uh, on the increase. Uh, we have a lot of. Uh, congestion issues with uh, space at uh, Ausuba and uh, Lobinilas and new extension cemeteries, uh, hence uh, the civil works that we're currently undertaking at Nasin. Ten witnesses are expected to give evidence in the trial of Pastor Waisake Tulavu, charged with rape. Tulavu faces four counts of rape and one count of sexual assault. The court heard that the accused will also take the stand, while defense will be calling five witnesses Tulavu allegedly raped three church members aged 22, 29 and 32 in Nasinu last year. The trial will begin on October 1st, lasting two weeks. The Human Rights and Anti-Discrimination Commission submitted its annual reports for the last three years to the President and to the Prime Minister, Voreng Mbani Marama. The annual reports document the steps the Commission has taken in the last three years towards protection, promotion and preservation of human rights. It also shows how the FHR ADC has regained its accreditations, which were lost in previous years. This is also in accordance with the Commission's constitutional mandate of education and advocacy, as well as conducting independent investigations. Submitting the report has also set the Commission on a path towards compliance with the Paris Principles and becoming a fully accredited national human rights institution. More jobs are expected after the redevelopment of Village 6 cinemas in the heart of the capital city. Damodar Group of Companies Chief Executive Dev Damodar says they have plans to renovate the 23-year-old building. Damodar confirms the New Look Cinema will include a new e air-conditioned food court, large retail shops and fine dine restaurants with a bar. The redevelopment is expected to be complete by August next year. Uh, the cinemas will be reduced to four, as two cinemas are being uh, used for retail element in the process. And uh, there will be a brand launching of that uh, for, for that complex itself. The Nawanawa Isao Matangali in Kandavu has bought seven new fiberglass boats to ease travel to the main island. The new boats will be used by 33 households. 
The chair of Nawanawa Isa village, Poa Sangiri, says the boats will also be used for the shooting of the famous Survivor TV series. Giri adds it will create employment for more than 14 locals from the village and the total cost of the boats is around $153,000. We have an agreement with um, TLTB and the PLP regarding the filming of, um, that's, that is happening in Kandavu that they will uh, hire these boats. The Agriculture Ministry is working with farmers from Naitasiri to venture into commercial farming. Agriculture Partnership Project Field Coordinator Nemani Susu says the workshop for rural farmers will help boost their knowledge on how best to invest in large-scale farming. Susu says they will conduct workshops in all districts of Naitasiri this week. The training is to assist uh, farmers to, like, to empower them with the uh, knowledge of uh, vegetable training especially to grow vegetables during uh, the off-season. Apart from uh, their main crop, uh, which is Yangona, farmers uh, will uh, be empowered on uh, vegetable training to assist them to grow during uh, the off-season. Art Talk Fiji has received a grant of $5,000 from the Department of Culture and Heritage to publish Fiji's first arts journal, the assistance aims to revitalize local culture and tradition. Art Talk founder Peter Sipeli says the grant will be used to assist in research and development, pay the writers and designers of the journal. Research and development, um, two to pay for articles because each one of the each one of the uh, chapters in the book covering art history in Fiji, each writer gets a stipend of five hundred dollars. Um, there were six people involved in doing that. We also wanted to make sure we have graphic artwork, um, graphic um, con concept and, and design. So not only were you reading a book about Fijian history, it was also going to be a beautiful book of of art. So ANZ Fiji has announced its, its renewed naming rights sponsorship for the annual Fiji Excellence in Tourism Awards for a further two years. Country head South Minam says they will continue to support the event as tourism has been the key driver of economic growth. Minam says the recent economic outlook report states visitor arrivals will stay at record levels and this will have a multiplier effect on hotels and infrastructure. Awards Chair Bill Whiting says this is one of the best, biggest awards nights in the country. They've been a fabulous partner with the Fiji Excellence and Tourism Awards, so um, it's, it's delightful. I'm happy to share it with everyone that yes, we as a bank have uh, continued to commit ourselves in the improvement and betterment of the uh, uh, tourism sector. Coming up, RKS ready for G Dean's quarterfinals. And McKee to name PNC squad to Japan. Stay with us. Zola Anguela o veteranu, agora itabua, agora do talento ainda na barra ou na bola FM, não mandou na série. Bola, agora Gonoa, ele toca do talento que na bola FM, ele tem na mandou na série. Nem bola vem cá, na regra não gosta, bola FM não. É na casa. Na verdade, gostamos do ativo, não bolo FM, não bando é na série no sul. Nem bolo vem na cá. Na verdade, o Jerry é o melhor passa. O do Barronga é na bolo FM, não bando a. Bolo FM, não bando é na série. Welcome back. Ratu Kandavu Levu School is in full preparations for the Dean's quarterfinals this weekend. Assistant Principal Walesi Songoyawasa says the players have worked hard to qualify for the quarterfinals, but the battle is far from over. He adds they're aware that competition will be much tougher than previous years. They're preparing well. Uh, I think the team management has worked on um, finalizing their teams for the national quarterfinals. Uh, they've been uh, playing different teams in um, different matches. Um, now I believe they have. Uh, um, finalized the first 15s and um, uh, preparing for the national quarterfinal this week. Bar Football believes having players who've recently played in the Pacific Games is a big advantage for the team. The men in black will take on Tavua in the first match of the Inc. Mobile Battle of the Giants tournament at 3.30 p.m. tomorrow. Coach Ronil Kumar says Malakai Rakula and Kishan Sami will guide the team. 
Uh, there's uh, two of them who came back uh, with us. Is, uh, one is Kisan Sami and one is uh, another one is Rakula. So it's uh, another positive sign that they are playing in uh, Pacific games so they get more experience and more exposure. So they, when they come back to Bas, so they give something more of the exposure to our young players who are coming up. Flying Fijians will be injected with a lot more power as coach John McKee has indicated the inclusion of Semi Randrandra and Veroniki Moneva for the Pacific Nations Cup matches. McKee says Randrandra has come off a slight injury in the European season. Uh, we, we're looking to, for, to him to be available from next week. So he, he will either, either play against Canada or some other at Semi. Nikki, Nikki's um, probably a little, little bit behind on, not a little bit behind, a little, his, his rehab a um, uh, little bit behind um, Simeon and his return to play, but I'm, I'm hoping that he will be um, ready to return to play for the Samoa match. Fine, apart from brief isolated showers over the eastern parts and interior of the larger islands, elsewhere mainly fine weather, cool nights. Moderate east to southwest winds, winds expected to gradually turn and become predominantly southeast tomorrow, moderate seas. And that's your FBC Morning News. Remember to join us at 1pm and 7pm for our major bulletins. For these stories and others, you can tune in daily to our sister radio station Gold FM. That's it from me for now. Have a good morning. My name is Tukram. I live in Nanduru Nosori. I always listen to Radio Fiji. Reki Reki, one in Nabu. My name is Binolal Phantom, Radio Fiji 2. I'm like what like it that way you should talk. I'm Binal Parkas. Hey, I'm Golden Tamu. I'm here. Hey, I'll support Radio Fiji too. So nee, I'll support like it. I'm a singer. Hey, Logi Kamla Oti Narain Batiri Singa Toka. Ke, our Radio Fiji too. I'm a very passionate. Radio Fiji too. Deshi Dharka.